Welcome to Alter Everything, a podcast about data science and analytics culture. I'm Maddie Johansson, and if you're an Alteryx user, you've probably visited our community full of data analytics enthusiasts. You know the power of community, how it's your one-stop shop for Alteryx enablement, discussions, user groups, and interactions with our super users, also known as Alteryx Aces. Our Aces absolutely love to help folks in the community advance their Alteryx knowledge and analytics careers. So for today's episode, I spoke with one of our Aces, Talis Donizetti. Calling in from Brazil, Talis and I had a chat about his journey to becoming an Ace, how he's helped to empower users in his community, and tips for how beginners can frame their workflows in a strategic way. Let's get started. My name is Talas Dovizetti. I live in a very cool place. I live in Brazil. Right now, I'm a senior consultant at a consultancy firm, Peach Data. I've been an Altrix Ace since uh, 2019. I met Altrix in 2017. And since then, you know, like um, quite close to the people I know, I've been in a, in a very long relationship with Altrix. That's great. And I think it'd be really great for our audience to hear your path that you took to get to where you are now because you've you've been on a journey with Alteryx for a long time and you've accomplished a lot with the ACE program, your current jobs, all of those things. And so I'd love to hear the path that you took. Yeah, sure. To start off, I actually um, started my career as, a, as an IT uh, specialist. Even though I graduated in engineering, so it's a little bit confusing, but I was a tech lead in a company and I started doing a lot of operational reports and analytics and, and I got in touch with that. I wanted to take my skills up to the next level. I started as an Excel user, like, you know, I think most of the people, and then I found this, this great course on predictive analytics for business and it had all it takes there. And I was like. Oh my gosh, this is an incredible tool for me. This will bring my reports to a totally, total different level. And I started using it and I thought, you know, like I want to, I want to work with that. I want to live that. And that's when I got engaged in the Altrix community and uh, started building my whole career around Altrix and focus on that. So it, it was a shift because it was not actually my, my major role. I wasn't working directly with all tricks, but I pursued that because I thought it was so cool to work with, with all tricks and solve problems with it and bring value with it. Yeah, no, I think that's so great. And I'd love to hear specifically, you know, you talked about like the, it would kick up your reports to the next level. I wonder if you could talk about just some, some specific ways in which Alteryx has helped your career over the past several years since you've started with Alteryx? Yeah, definitely. I think especially these uh, use, for me, that was, I was an Excel user, like I said. So a lot of things were hard to do in Excel and it would took me so much time to do there, right? And I think when I found out that Alteryx was able to do all of that, all of what I was doing in last time, and saving so much time from, from my day-to-day -day activities, from my reports that I was building for, uh, for management and things like that, I saw the real value there, the time savings. That was the first thing. Of course, once I, I got to explore more of the platform, like the advanced analytics part, the spatial analysis, the predictive analysis, then I was like, I'm in front of a very powerful tool that just cannot only do with cell sheets, but it can bring bunch of use cases together. And that's what, that's when I thought, okay, now I want to work with that. I want to work with other companies and help them with bringing that kind of value that Altrix offers with its tools and get my, my, I think my skill of problem solving be that curiosity, tie that to the knowledge with the platform and, you know, make it big, make it, make my career impressive to, to this point uh, of generating a lot of value for the companies that I work with. So I think that's how the baths were tied together at a point. And then I shift my efforts to being a, a really a specialist with the platform and, and knowing every, you know, trying to know every single thing, because it's impossible to know everything, but exploring every little part of our tricks. And I'm very happy says that. That's great to hear. And I want to get into your curiosity and problem solving 
personality here in a minute. But before we do that, you mentioned working with clients and sharing the Alteryx magic with them. I'm curious if you can share what are some of the biggest pain points that you see from clients or like what's at the top of their wish list that you're able to help them with when you work with them? I guess it's just showing them how easy it is to do things that you think that are really hard to do because maybe they didn't get too deep into it or they're worried about solving business problems, which is what it really should be about. So when I come there and show them how easy it is to do what they're thinking of doing and transform that into workflows, right? Workflows, things that are connected and make sense the head of a an end user, not not a an IT user that that cares about a bunch of other things, right? A uh, business user. So I think that's the when I get that. Wow, I can do that by myself, and that's when I think it's the business user sees the value out of it. The self service part, right? Having them generate those insights in such a fast pace and being able to solve big problems with small workflows or a couple of workflows, I think that's, that's the greatest value that I can think of when bringing my services to a company and implementing portraits practice in there. Yeah, and that, that's really empowering what you're doing for other people. And I'd love to hear other activities that you've done that also have empowered people because I know that you're involved with our user groups program and being an ace as well on the community and just being active on the community and answering questions for people, helping them out with things here and there. When any user around the world posts a question, I see you all the time jumping in there and helping. I'd love to hear just some other ways that you've helped teach all tricks to the broader community. Yeah, that's a great topic because I think that was also one of the things that motivated me to explore more the Alteryx platform is the community. When I got resources to, you know, to learn all traits and put in practice, I searched for the community and <laughs> I was actually finding everything I needed. It's so interesting. I wasn't able to do that with any other tool or any other thing that I worked with. And I got so excited about that community that I wanted to make part of it. And when I started to get deeper in outtakes and everything, I tried to become engaged in most of the community initiatives. One of them was the user group here in Brazil. I tried to get more focus and get more regular meetings. It was very interesting to build the community here. The other thing is I started to, to do presentations and tech events here in Brazil, showing outtakes and because not Many people know all traits it, and it was very interesting to know that other people wanted to be part of that as well. And that community start started to grow and grow with time. The other, I think, the other big thing was the initiative that came from my network was a volunteer initiative, which was called uh, Teaching from Learning. And essentially, what we would do is we would bring specialists, on BI platforms, tech platforms, and things like that, to teach beginners that wanted to do that transition, the career transition to IT jobs, to data jobs and things like that. And those people, most of them were unemployed actually, and they were just looking to get their first gig on those fields. And it was so interesting. It was really, I was literally uh, teaching from learning because um, uh, you get a different perspective from what you're used to when you're doing training companies, you get that spirit of learning, that passion of people who are seeing that for the first time. And yeah, and I think it, it made a great impact here in the, in the Sao Paulo area. And we could, we definitely were able to introduce a lot of people to this market. How cool. Yeah, that's such a special story. Again, going back to how great it must make you feel to empower people to dive in and learn this new skill. I think that's super, super valuable. And yeah, it's something that people can take with them through all different industries and different roles and positions. So that's really cool. And let's say that I am a beginner Alteryx user and I attend one of your sessions, whether it's a user group meeting or the teaching from learning organization. What are the 
first things that you tell somebody to help them understand where to start? That's actually an interesting question. It's funny because I don't even have to do the hard work, right? Most of the uh, specialists that teach uh, tools and stuff, uh, they have to prepare so much. So I think the user-friendly interface helps users to get started, just doing the drag and drop and start importing their data, using the input data, getting their Excel sheets or the databases. And then just getting the data preparation steps, filtering, joining, and exploring the data with the browse tool. Essentially with beginners, I think when they see how easy to do that, I think, I, I don't think I, I need to grab their attention so much because they're already doing everything by themselves, right? And just showing like the power of the tool because they usually ask, oh, can I do that? Can I do a formula? Can I do a similar Excel formula in all tricks? And just helping them with that and showing that how easy it is to do that. But that, I think that journey of preparing and exploring the data and then at the end, validating the data with a couple of all tricks tools and outputting, deploying that to something that they're going to use. That's how I try to approach, like we would approach a business problem. So a workflow has a similar mindset at that. It has a start there and it has all the hard work, the preparation stacks, the things you do to analyze your data and then the outputs, right? So right, yes, that's how I approach with the beginner. And then taking it a step further, you definitely listed out some really clear, concrete steps for our listeners there too. But getting into some more of the specifics of a workflow, I'd love to hear how you go about just diving in and like, how do you know which tools to use and how do you know what you need to do next when you are trying to solve those business problems in a workflow. Yeah, I think it all comes to defining the problem you have and the solution that you want to, the outcome, right? Um, the output. Defining the steps will rely heavily on the data, of course, because usually you get dirty data and or, you know, data that is not in correct format. So you have to take those small steps to clean and prepare the data, enrich that data. Eventually, like maybe you need to add some business logic in the formula, right? Or maybe you need to join your data with another data set that your, your company curates or that comes from a website, from an API. So Altrix gives you all, all of those options to work with tools that will make that process easy. And I guess understanding that and understanding where you want to get what is your final output? Is it is it a pivot table or it's an aggregate table? Like, is it just KPIs for for your business department? So understanding that, I think it's easier for me just to to know like what I have to do to get there and face that analytics problem in that way. Yeah, and I think that understanding the problem and the desired outcome probably comes with some feedback needed, you know, like from your team or your boss or the other team that you're helping support. Do you have any advice for working collaboratively in a way that is most effective? Yes, definitely. I like that iterative approach because, of course, I kind of get it completely right at the first time. You're going to forget something or maybe like you show that, like you said, your team at your boss and they say, Okay, we want uh, more. We want, you know, another KPI. We want uh, more data. Uh, we want to enrich that data. We want to get more insights out of it. So that iterative approach, it's very interesting. It, it really depends on what you're outputting to. Like it could be a dashboard. It could be an Excel sheet. It could be just a table in a database where uh, people have access to. It really depends. But I guess I think it is important to have that and even like the interesting thing to do that is use uh, analytic apps, which are dynamic and the users can share with other people and they just need to input their parameters and see the outputs. So analytic apps are really good to actually get that feedback, I think, because users can explore a little bit more of your workflow and maybe add more thought to it. You always need to be uh, in touch with a with data consumer, right? When you're delivering, when you're using Altrix and delivering an analytics solution, you always need to be in touch with uh, your data consumer. 
There's also Autrix server, which your company has Autrix server. It's really helpful to collaborate with other people as well as you can share your workflows and collections and let people run your workflows. So I think there are several ways of doing that, of addressing that, that approach, but um, it's always really important to be with the stakeholders, get their, that feedback for sure. With your experience on the community and working f- firsthand with customers, I think that you are full of advice from understanding the problem to how to get started and then understanding that the final desired output and working with the end stakeholder. Do you have any other pieces of advice that you want to share with our listeners? Yeah, my biggest advice is always, especially for all tricks users, is to explore the community. People still, uh, especially here in Brazil, I hear a lot of people coming to me and say, yo, did you have any recommendations for all tricks material or learning material? The community is so rich with those resources. We have weekly challenges. We have a whole learning path for everything you could think of in all tricks. You know, you have the videos, you have the community forum where people, they post a question and they get an answer like in five, 10 minutes. It's a very collaborative community. So for a beginner or for someone who's willing to learn all tricks, use the community. You be, you definitely be supported there and it has everything to not only upskill in all tricks, but upskill in analytics as well, because the way that uh, the Autrix users face analytics problems, it's a very good approach uh, most of the times. It, and it helps you to understand, you know, wh- why you're doing that and how you're doing that as well. So I, I think that would be my biggest piece of advice. It's sometimes it's an undervalued resource, I think, because maybe because it's out there, it's for free. And we were like, oh, it's impossible that something that good is for free. But yeah, it is. Yeah, I would agree. I think it's it is so rich and there is so much learning content and fun content, too. I think it's a really great place to be. And I'm so happy that you have found value in it and that you are sharing the love with other people and that you hear other people as well share that they found value in the community. Yeah, thanks so much for for having me here. Um, I'm very glad to be sharing a little bit of my journey. And of course, anytime anyone that wants to know more about Altrix or talk more about analytics or anything, yeah, I'm here and I'm unity everywhere you can find me. Thanks so much, Talis. Thanks for listening. For resources and to get started on the community, check out our show notes at community.altrix.com slash podcast. Catch you next time.